Hey guys! So I know I'm a little late on my October favorites, but I have been a little sick, that's why I haven't really posted any videos, but I'm feeling a lot better today, so I figured that I would go ahead and film my October favorites before it gets too late in the month, so I kind of have a lot, so I'm just going to jump right in and start right away. <clears throat> And the first thing that I'm going to start with, because it's my only, I think, face product. So, I mean like skincare product. So it's the Mario Badesco Glycolic Foaming Cleanser, and it looks like this. I did mention this, I think, in one of my um, haul videos, but I love this stuff. When I was doing a lot of, like, Halloween makeup, this stuff gets it all off in, like, one swipe. You just use a little bit, rub it together in your hands, and then shh, work it all over your face. And I feel like it really helped, like, prevent me from, like, breaking out because that, you know, that Halloween makeup, that white makeup is really thick on your face and kind of clogs your pores. So I would use this, like, every single night. I've had this for... I don't know, whenever that haul was filmed, I think it was, like, a month ago, and I've only used this month... Well, and I've only used this month much but I do use it every single time that I'm in the shower and I absolutely love this stuff. It has like a really like clean smelling smell to it too and I picked this up at Ulta in case you were interested. I'm sorry that I'm reaching so far but all my stuff is like like way over here so the next things that I'll talk about is hair and the macadamia natural oil deep repair mask is obviously going to be in my favorites. I love this stuff and again if you guys watch that same haul video you know that I was like I, was, I told you that I had been contemplating so long on buying this product, and I'm so glad that I did. I absolutely love it. It smells phenomenal. Like, I can't even put into words, like, how good this stuff smells. <sighs> I love that noise. <sighs> That's how you know it smells good when you hear that noise. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, and I've, this is how much I've used. So I've used a ton of it. It says to only use it for, um, it says to, ugh, why can I not speak today? <laughs> it says to only use it twice a week, but this actually has replaced my conditioner, and this is the conditioner that I use. But I guess I only wash my hair about three to four times a week. But I love this stuff. A lot of you guys have been saying that my hair has been looking a lot healthier and I feel like it makes it so soft and so, I don't know, I need to just shut up. Just know that this product is like so worth the $30. Like if you haven't tried this, run to the store right now and buy it because it's, in my opinion, absolutely worth it. Yeah, I could ramble on about but we got other stuff to talk about. Alright, ugh, I'm so sorry that I keep reaching like that but my tripod is like set up right here so. Two other products that I've been loving for my hair um, is the It's a 10. I talked about this a lot in my videos and I realize that I say, you guys know what it does a lot, but a lot of you will write me and be like, I don't know what It's a 10 is and I don't know what it does. So I'll really quickly tell you what it is. It's a miracle leave-in product and it does 10 things. It says it repairs dry, damaged hair, adds shines, detangles, controls frizz, seals and protects hair color, prevents split ends, stops hair breakage, creates silkiness, enhances natural body, and it's a flat iron spray and thermal protector. This stuff is bomb in a bottle and again, it smells phenomenal. <sighs> so, 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 so good. I'm a sucker for, like, smelling good hair stuff. And a, I feel like a reason that my hair is looking, like, a lot healthier is because I haven't really been blow-drying my hair. Today was actually the first day that I've blow-dried my hair since I've probably moved into my new place. Um, I kind of just wash it at night, let it air dry, go to sleep with it, and then I style it in the morning. I usually, when I don't blow-dry it, I'll usually just curl it the next day, but today's the first day that I've actually blow-dried my hair. blow Blown dried, blow dried, blow dried, I, whatever. Merp. Merp. Okay, so moving on. I'm going to save makeup for last because I feel like that's what all we ever talk about. Um, but I'll talk about some makeup brushes really quickly. Um, a lot of you have been asking, where'd you get that fan brush and where'd you get that contour brush? These are actually from Sedona Lace and I'm obsessed. These are like two of my all-time favorites now. I've never used a contour brush or a fan brush and they make life so much easier. Um, I will have a full review coming on all of these because they sent me like a ton of brushes. Um, I was never really somebody that was like really into brushes, but they do really make things like a lot easier on your life. So favorite is my contour brush if it's perfectly like right Look at me trying to talk. <laughs> it fits perfectly like right in this little area, love, and this fan brush is perfect. It fits perfectly like right there. So I've been a lot more into like contouring and highlighting. And then another two of my favorites from that are the, um, the only thing that I don't like is they don't have the names on the brush. So I don't know what these are called, but I will have a full review and tell you all about them in more detail. Um, but this reminds me kind of of the Sigma flat top, but is um, way less dense than that one. But it's super, super soft. Love this for foundation. And then I love this Tulip brush. I think that's what it's called um, for like powdering um, when I do my under eye concealer because it fits like perfectly like right in there. But these are from Sedona Lace 
and a lot of you have been asking where I got the um, contour and fan brush so that's that love those all right and then on to nails so um, what I have on my nails, I love wearing black in fall. Love, 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 love black. And my all-time favorite black was China Glaze's um, Liquid Leather. But this Sally Hansen Hard as Nails, and I think it's just called Black. What's it called? Black Heart. Looks like this. Um, I think there's a kind of like the newer ones. I think it was like $2 at Walgreens. Has totally replaced China Glaze Liquid Leather. I love China Glaze Liquid Leather, but you have to put like two, three coats on to get like a nice black. This is one coat one one coat of this hard as nails and I, I love that like I love stuff that I can get away with one coat like when I'm in a rush and I want to just paint my nails really quickly one coat top set V and you're out the door so this has totally become my favorite 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 black nail polish and then Milani Jewel Effects in gold love this since I bought it I've had it on my toes since I've bought it I think it's absolutely phenomenal I like it way better on my toes than I do on my nails but I definitely have to buy a backup if you haven't tried this gold nail polish you're missing out on life is all I can say. Um, I picked mine up at Target. I looked for it everywhere. Like I'd seen so many people's posts on this and I've been looking and looking and I finally found it at Target. So if you've been on the look and you haven't found it, try Target. And then um, a lot of people when they come over, like girls, you know, my friends will come over and they'll see this room and they're like, ah, oh, and they go right for the nail polish rack. And then they're like, what's this? And I'm like, you guys don't know what this is. Like all, anytime I used to get my nails done, like I would be obsessed with this. I would always grab it and spray my nails. This one's actually completely empty because I just killed the bottle. There's nothing coming out. But I just wanted to show you guys to let you know it was one of my favorites. I love this stuff. It's a nail enamel dryer. And I picked this up at, I think, Walmart, but I'm pretty sure you can get it anywhere, but... I know Walmart sells it for the cheapest amount, and it's just a finishing spray. Like, when you're really in a rush and such feet isn't drying fast enough for you, just psh, spray this and you're gone. Like, this stuff, love. Okay, so on to the makeup. Are we excited yet? Alright, so I've been loving this BH Cosmetics Foundation Primer, and it looks like this. I bought a bunch of stuff from, well, not a bunch of stuff, but I bought a couple of things from BH Cosmetics, not that long ago and I was meaning to do a haul but I just never got around to it <laughs> um, so I did have to creep into this and I love this stuff it's got like that silicone um, primer feel that I love kind of like this Smashbox photo finish I love that feel for primers I always 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 use a primer um, I don't really like how makeup feels on my face if I don't use a primer so been loving that I think it was around like 12 bucks um, so then onto my foundation. These haven't really changed a lot, but a lot of you always ask. Um, I alternate between these two. It's the L'Oreal True Match and the L'Oreal um, Magic Smooth Souffle, which look like this. Um, I'm in, ugh, I'm in sun beige in both of them. Love, love, love. This is definitely like my holy grail drugstore foundation. Like, I just think no other drugstore foundation, like, compares to this in my opinion. It just gives great coverage. It's inexpensive. It has the most colors selection out of any drugstore foundation brand so I just love 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 this and then um, I go to my magic smooth souffle when I'm in, like a super rush because I just dot, dot 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 all over my face take like um my Sigma F80 flat top kabuki and buff it all in and it's like you have like a flawless face in like two seconds so that's why I love those two um my two foundation not foundations because we just talked about those silly um, my two favorite primers for this month are definitely my NYX HD um, Photogenic Concealer. This is in beige. I love this concealer. Like, the consistency is so, 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 so creamy. It blends so well. It doesn't, like, settle under your eyes or anything like that. It's phenomenal, in my opinion. I love this. I'm not sure how much this was because I actually purchased this from um, Holt Look, so I don't really know how much it is. Um, but it's bomb, regardless. And then my other one is the Rimmel Match Perfection 2-in-1 um, Concealer and Highlighter. I actually use both of these together because, you know, I like to lay a stuff. So these two are my life right now. Like, this little baby I love. The only thing that I don't like about this is the squeeze tip applicator like that. I don't, I'm not really a fan of that because um, I don't want to be rubbing it under my eye all the time. So what I do is I just squeeze it onto my finger and then pop it under there. Just because I think it's, I don't know, I don't like that brush. All right, so, oh, I just, something just rolled away. All right, been loving this um, Wet and Mild, ugh, Wet and Wild bronzer in Goddess, and it just looks like this. I talked about this in my haul as well. This is a matte bronzer, and it's a little bit darker than the NYC Sunny. That's why I picked it up, and this is what I mainly use to contour my cheeks because it is matte. I think it was like $2.99. Love that stuff. Um... 
And then I also picked up some stuff from Sleek Makeup. And I did film a haul on this. I just never uploaded it. So if you guys still want to see the haul on all the other stuff that I got from Sleek Makeup, just leave me a comment down below and I'll upload it. But don't be surprised because I'm unboxing all that stuff. But I have dipped my little fingers into it. So this is the Sleek Makeup Contour Kit. Love the packaging on Sleek Makeup. And the color that I picked mine up was in medium. Um, I'm a little too light for this dark bronzer right now to contour with. Um, so I have to wait till I get tanner to actually use that because I tried to use it the other day and it was like... <sighs> I was like, no. Um, but this highlight is gorgeous because it's not like a really bright, um, you know, like white highlighter. It's more like a champagne-y one. And so I'll just do two swatches of these. And you can see how great the color payoff is on those. But that brown is deep. They have it in three colors too. I think it's like medium or light, tan, and medium. Light, medium, and dark. Something like that. <laughs> and then also from Sleek Makeup, I picked up a couple of blushes. But this one's my favorite. And you'll see why, obviously, when I open it. Um, but again, cute packaging. And it's called Pixie Pink. And that's what it looks like. Gorge, right? What does it look like to you? Totally looks like Elf Pink Passion, right? But the only thing that I like better than this is it's not as um, powdery as Elf's Pink Passion is. Um, it's got great color payoff and it seems like a really high-end blush. And I think it was only like $6, so really, really nice. I'm really impressed with sleek makeup. So again, if you want to see that haul, just let me know down below. I hate swatching stuff. All right, and now on to... Sorry, I gotta come out of frame, so... Onto my lips. These three things are my lips. So really quickly, I've been loving Nivea's Kiss of Smoothest Smoothness. OMG, I cannot speak whatsoever in this video. Um, you know there was like Kiss of Moisture, but this is Kiss of Smoothness. I love this. I love Nivea like chapsticks. They're just so, I feel like, nourishing on my lips. And this one like sinks really fast into your lips so it doesn't give you like that greasy feeling that like some lip balms give you. But whatever. Um, I've been loving this NYX Pale Rose, I think. No, Pale Pink. Pale Pink, and it's actually, you can't really tell, but it's the lip liner that I've been using pretty much since I've got it. Um, I used to use the NYX Dolly Pink Lip Liner. That's a little more, like, on the bright pink side, and this one is more on the super nudie pink side. See, there's a swatch of it right there. Love it for, like, any kind of lipstick. If you want, if you have really pigmented lips like I do and you want to kind of, like, mute them out and you don't want to put concealer on them, I totally recommend that. And, again, it's called Pale Pink. And then over it, you guys have seen this a million times, this is Revlon's Prim Rose. This is one of my, seriously, all-time favorite lipsticks. Look how little bit I have. I have backups, but love this lipstick. And then the two lip glosses that I've kind of been, like, rotating in and out are my Revlon, um... I think this is called Pink Pop, which is I always get, yeah. This is Pink Pop by Revlon. This is a great drugstore lip gloss if you're looking for like a pigmented one. Pigmented? Pigmented. And it just looks like that, so it's a really nice, sorry, really nice pink, pink. Um, but what I have on my lips right now is NARS, and I think this is in a state, oh, Angelica. And it just looks like this. So it's kind of like a nice like fuchsia color because I just want it to add a little bit of color to my lips, so instead of doing that with my lipstick, I'll just do it with my gloss sometimes. So, been, been loving those. And then really quickly, I just want to give a little shout out to um, Benefits Their Real Mascara. I have still been using this. It's replaced all my other mascaras. It's phenomenal, and I just wanted to throw that out there. And I think that is all my favorites this month. So, I'm sorry that I was totally like, blah, 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 like stumbling over all of my words, but again, I have been sick. I still feel a little out of, you know, <sighs> right now, but it is what it is. I wanted to get this video up for you guys. So, yeah. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to follow me on Facebook. And if you don't really like Facebook, you can always follow me on my Twitter. So, thanks so much guys for watching, and until next time, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!